Hello everyone, my name is Tony Isa. Today I begin what I hope to be a successful series of interviews with people within the community that can help everyone answer questions that they might have. My mission is to get everybody to add value and so that we can get pertinent questions to help others. I live in this community of Angola. I am on the Chamber of Commerce and I own Scoops Ice Cream as well as am a realtor with Remax Results. Look forward to serving you. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us again to Tony's Heart to Heart. Today I happen to have a great guest with us today. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Jeff Rhodes. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. I want to ask him just a couple questions, get to know him a little bit better. Um, who is Jeff Rhodes? Who Let's is just start out. Jeff Rhodes. It's very deep and philosophical, but uh, I'm Jeff Rhodes. Um, originally from Hibby, Minnesota, but uh, currently living here in Angola. But uh, just trying to make a difference one day at a time for our wonderful community. Well. I've met your wife, and I know you've all kicked your coverage, so <laughs> tell us a little bit about her and your family. Well, I, I do. I'm, I'm very blessed. I've got a wonderful family. Um, Melissa Myers, originally from Angola, Indiana. Uh, yeah. Her family is all here. Uh, we had an opportunity to move here about 12 years ago after the birth of our first daughter, Reagan, um, and have uh, been here since the birth of our second daughter, Carson, 11 years ago. Fantastic. So, what do you do? What do I do? Well, I'm currently the executive director of the Angola Area Chamber of Commerce, uh, which uh, I know that you're a, a wonderful participant. Uh, but uh, as the executive director, I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day operation of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, I fulfill the, 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 the dreams and desires of our volunteer board made up of business leaders here in the community. And we act in unison uh, in, on behalf of our membership across uh, the community, which is about 300 members and 7,000 employees within those employers. So, the executive director, so, you know, it's a, it's a bigger task than, you're like herding cats half the time, it seems like, you know, uh, what's going on with the uh, chamber, what, what do you see, what is the benefit if I am a new business in the community to join the chamber? Well, that's a great, great question, and, and it really is. It's, it's, you don't want to say guilt by association, but it's really it's, it's that power and strength by association. Uh, the more businesses that we get together acting in unison uh, on the, you know, for the benefit of the community, finding all the great things that we have here in our community, it's, it's a great way to trumpet that. Um, and if, if we're all going in the same direction and we believe in the same things as far as our benefit and the things that we can do better, it, it does. We just we do much better. It's it's synergy, uh, if you if you will, um, for lack of a better term. But uh, it, it is, and there's there's a lot of um, you know business leaders are A type personalities. They've got their way of doing things, and I've got to work to interpret that and, and hopefully come up with you know the, the, the best way to move forward for us uh, you know as an organization. So it is. It's 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 interesting and fun. So I know being on the board, uh, we've been working on trying to get a three year plan. But in your vision, as you see Angola grow, what do you see Angola in five years? Oh, in five years. Um, you know, really, I think it's, it's better utilization of the resources we have. We've got some incredible you know, people. We've got incredible natural resources with the lakes, the parks, recreation, our education system, the healthcare system that's here. Uh, you know, all of the manufacturers and, and small businesses combined. Uh, we, we really do. We've got an outstanding opportunity. We have to recognize the fact that we do. We've got competition within our community, but we also have competition from without or outside of our community. Uh, you think of where we're positioned from a uh, Michigan standpoint or Ohio standpoint, and we do. We've got some incredible benefits that we could uh, you know, take advantage of and better utilize so that we are. We're a, a beacon for you know, how other communities you know, like Angola should be able to react. So. Uh, it, it is. It's, 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 it's a unique situation. It's one that I get excited about. Uh, where I see us in five years is really just you know, better utilizing them so that we make this a better place to be. We make it a better place for people to, uh, to live, grow up, raise families, you know, start more businesses. Um, you know, really, and, and, I, and I do. There's a lot of different ways that we can go about that, I think, in the next five years. So one of the things that uh, I think about when I, when I talk to you is knowing you're from Minnesota. Uh, we have uh, uh, 
just this year got the ice arena and uh, just knowing how much being now that I moved back from Michigan the ice arena has added so much value to our family and how I see that you know the enjoyment that you have when I see you skating on the ice so that leads me into my one of my other questions for you and that is tell me something about you that most people would be surprised to know about oh my goodness well and, and I did I you know I, I, I thought about an interview like this and I, I kind of foretold that a question like that would be answered or would be asked and I, I think the the thing that I would I would probably challenge people with knowing about me you know is, is really the, the the belief that I've got in community um, you know I've, I've had an opportunity to live all over the world work all over the world and it's always drawn me back to the you know the beauty and you know sanctity of of, of America, and being in small town America, there's there's nothing like it. Small town Europe, not the same. What we've got here, um, and and what I believe in that is here, it, it does. It just it draws me here. I, I I think people would think that I'm you know I grew up in a small town. I went away and lived on you know the East Coast and in larger cities, but no, it's I've always been drawn back to this. And I think people would be surprised somewhat by that. Well, I want to say thank you for joining us today in this brief interview, and I, I really appreciate talking to you, and thank you, Jeff. No, best um, of luck. For those of you that have been able to watch this video, thank you so much. Please smash that like button and share it with your people. If you have any questions that you would like to see me or people you'd like to see me interview, please feel free to reach out to me let me know, and I'll, I'll try to accommodate you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you very much for joining us today on our videos. Uh, I appreciate that. We're gonna to try to be doing these on a weekly basis. Look forward to helping, giving information that might be beneficial to someone or anybody that watches these. Um, if you have any questions or would like to learn more information or have questions about anything else that you'd like me to interview, please feel free to reach out to me at Tony at ISA, excuse me, Tony ISA at Remax.net. Again, Tony Isa at Remax.net. Thank you very much.